Hey, hey, what is happening all you mechanical maniacs? Here's Quasar here. Welcome back to another Barn Bargains and other cheap challenges. We are located here in Quasar's Customs. My banner's up there. And as you can tell um, from actually from the Rot to Rad videos, I've actually changed up my stuff a little bit. I've got my uh, my very first trash to track car in the garage. I love having this car in here or just a car in here. Now, as I go outside though, um, they're kind of scattered about. So luckily I don't have a car for the back of the truck. Otherwise it would have been eaten up by this big ass Easter leg. And yes, we have Easter eggs everywhere because it's that time of the year. Um, got an Easter egg in there, got a few in the back. I mean, they're all over the place, right? I, I love, I love when the, um, developer does this kind of stuff, you know, Easter, Christmas, Halloween, you name it. Oh, there's another one out here. Um, and one on top there. So, you know, it's just, I love it. And uh, I run the QOL mod, which is quality of life mod. So that's why these cars are out here. And this is a different config um, file, which actually places the cars out here. And um, I really want to give some kudos to uh, DJ57Ben for hooking me up. He's going to set me up with a brand new config for this. I'm going to have uh, a few cars here and there um not crazy amount of vehicles because um i don't want to fry my machine you know what i mean uh but he's gonna hook me up with that and dj i certainly appreciate it shout out to you brother thanks a lot all right so what we have here we have two okay we have a classic creation this is our bronco we got from the last episode we did the uh the rear end assembly was able to fix that all up and we were able to bring it back the Mustang, um, this is the, oh, geez, I'm wrong thing here. The Maverick. All right, this is a custom config from uh, Country Thang. So Country Thang um, really hooked this car up. We've got all four wheels and tires on it. Um, this is going to be another trash-to-track vehicle that we have to put together. And the block looks like it is in excellent condition. I'm very happy about this. No pistons in it, though. That's... That's that's okay. That's okay though. Oh, I can see right straight through. That's all good. Um, for the most part, though, if you look at this, um, she's in pretty good shape. I mean, seriously, um, this was in better shape than the last Maverick we had in here that we lost due to I don't know. It was probably my stupidity, to be honest with you. Um, due to some data loss that we had. I mean, this is actually in really, really good shape. Um, should be able to take the track pretty good uh, after we get some parts done to it. But we're going to start, we're going to mess around with the Bronco first. Yeah, I mean, all the parts, they're, you know, high 30s, high 30s, low 50s. I mean, it's, it's in decent shape. It really is. So I think we're going to have a really decent track car out of this. And we'll tinker with this. We'll add parts to it as we need as we see fit as far as the bronco um let's see what do we have in here we have a few parts i think are missing here um we are missing the brake let me see if we can get the brake the windshield washer the radiator and the battery right so let's get those items first um i don't know if i have i might have Let's see warehouse it'd be engines and exhaust so how you guys doing i hope this video is finding you happy and healthy yes we are really really um um just knocking it out of the park here oh we have we don't have an old radiator Ooh, that kind of sucks all right so not a big deal uh electronics battery bat yeah we have a battery 13 percent okay it's in the red i don't i think we'll, we'll go ahead and take that okay we'll go ahead and take that anyway um and the windshield uh the wiper okay we're just going to we're just going to swap batteries around here there we go um let's go ahead and put that in there so this is what it is with uh with the brake I know I have, I should have a brake servo. Um, so this is what we do. 
the, the parts that I have that are repairable, we repair them and put them in the vehicle, right? Um, ah, suspension and brake. That's okay. That's because I have that stupidness in there. Okay. Um, so if you can repair the part, I'm going to repair it and I'm going to put it in the car. Ooh, we only have one brake servo. Oof. That's awful. Let's go ahead and... Um, why do I have all these parts? I guess this is all from... Wow. It's been a while. Okay. So, I'm going to have to figure out why I have all these parts. But that's okay. I probably should have stashed them away. Um, it's probably for the, the rot to rad. Or, not rot to rad, but uh, our, our trash to track vehicle we have over there. All right, um, actually, let's, let's, let's do that. It seems like I've got a lot more stuff in my inventory that I thought I had. Um, let's go to engines and exhaust. Let's see what I have here. Engines, engine, 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 engine. My transmission is fine. Engine, 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 engine. Uh, yeah, engine. That's a window engine. Uh, put transmission in there. Distributor. Well, you know what? Distributor stuff should have been electronics, honestly. So let's, let's take those back out. Okay. Um, so engines and exhaust. Uh, this one. Piston rings. Uh, rockers. So yeah, it looks like I have found an engine and actually tore it apart just to gather the pieces just so that I had them. Um, so yeah, so much for that. <laughs> Okay, uh, engine exhaust, uh, uh, electronics. Go back here, electronics, that, 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 that. Uh, uh, I guess the engine wires. Okay, so that's done. Um, so both those shock absorbers are trash. I don't even know why I kept them. Off-road tires, I'm just going to get rid of them. License plate, who needs it? Ooh, a case. What we get here? Oh, we got that. I think we picked it up from a barn, actually, and I just never opened it up. Ooh. Ooh, it's nice. Okay, next. Next up. Okay, we're going to go wide. Got another case and some bonus. All right. And we'll go back to the center, too. Another case. Nice. Okay, we can do this. This, this is like playing... I don't know. This is like playing... Uh, 21. Blackjack. My gosh. Okay, open up another case. Come on, give me something good. Okay, we're going to go inner and outer. There we go. There we go. Yeah, now, we, now we're all set. Okay, go ahead and add that. Yes. Now, the window... Do I have... Is that it? Yeah. Okay, good. So we've got a piece of the Mustang in there, and I didn't even know it. All right, what else do I have in my stupid inventory? Okay, so that's good to go. All right, um, so as far as the fuse box, let's go ahead and look at this. Let's go ahead and pull these all out. All the fuses and relays will have to be replaced. The box itself, though, is repairable. So we'll go ahead and take all these out. Okay, so let's go over here and repair the box at least. Whoa, that was... Oh, crap, that was not good. First, what are you doing? My response time is horrible. Okay, now I need the cover. Let's go into the electronics section. Um, do I have a cover? Yes, we have a cover, and we'll repair that. Ah... Man, I just about blew that one too, man. <laughs> just crazy. 
All right, let's go ahead and put this in. Okay, so what we're going to need here is I've got to zoom in on that stupid thing. All right, so we need... Try not to spend any more money than I need to, right? Okay, so we'll jump out of there, go there. Uh, we will add... Oh, geez, what am I doing? Um, let's go to electronics, open a shopping list. Break servo, we don't need. Raider C, battery, we've already got. Relay. Ah... Uh, what am I doing? Open shopping list. Um, relay A, one. Um, relay B, five, it looks like. Uh, relay C times three. Use B times three. A times three. And oh, is that it? I thought there was a another one. That doesn't seem right. I don't know. We'll find out here in a minute. I'm sure. Okay. So we can add this in here. Get our electronics set up at least. I thought there was a blue one in here. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Okay. All right. So that's done. Fuse box is done. Radiator we're going to have to find, actually. Uh, do I have a radiator in here? No. Um, I do not. <laughs> thought maybe I could rob that one. Um, so. Uh, let's see. What else can I replace in here? Oh, the washer fluid now that thing we will have to uh, we will have to replace we'll have to buy um so yeah we're just going to go ahead and buy that put that in there there we go now we're going to have to look for a radiator now i'm going to have to disconnect the transmission and all that stuff uh probably have to drain the oil out of it that looks there's an easter egg right there happy easter everyone all right um Exhaust system looks brandy new. All right, so let's go ahead and dump this exhaust. Um, go ahead and pull that drive shaft out. We pull this drive shaft out. Okay, that's drive shafts out. Starter. I am going to have to drain the oil out of this because I see there is an oil pan on it. If I don't, they'll charge me 50 bucks for an EPA violation of spilling oil everywhere. Okay. What a one. Yeah, the oil didn't look too bad. It didn't look like it was like black. I remember seeing most of them are black. So, yeah. Okay, so the front end is, let's see. Um, let's do a quick, ooh, yeah. You know what? I do remember now. I was supposed to go out and look for another Bronco because I'm not going to find another front suspension. Yikes. Okay, so that's going to have to be job one after this. Um, I think what I can do is build the engine in that. So I'm going to pull the engine out and pull, put it on the engine stand over here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, between the two cars, yeah, that's what I'm going to end up doing. So the Bronco... Pull the engine out of there. So that's all done. I just need a radiator, right? And I can put the transmission in. Let's see here. Um, drive shaft. Good to go. Starter, good to go. Transmission, good to go. Okay. So those parts I should are should be decent. Now the two exhaust pipes. Uh, so I need two of those. So let's go ahead and jump over to there. Engine, exhaust pipe, 
Let's get two of those. Go ahead and get grab those. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this one out. Uh, let's go ahead and put these fuses and stuff. Electronics. Yep. Okay. All the fuses look good, so that's a good thing. So we're going to put those in there for future use. You know what I mean? Um, you never know. So we're going to put this on the block, and we're going to overhaul it. <laughs> Yikes. And I think we're going to have a lot of trouble with this. So we're going to tear this down and see what we get ourselves into here. This looks like it's going to be horrible, to be quite honest with you. Everything looks less than 15%, and that's the problem. Less than 15%, you can't repair the stuff. So... Um, We'll hope for the best and see what we can get from here. All right, so how is, where is this? Okay, there's another one right there. Okay, intake, I mean, everything looks horrible, but it doesn't look, you know, like it's like horrible. <laughs> I guess is, you know, it's, it's not, it's not just, it's not beyond repair. Like belts, we have to repair those. Um, so that's off, that's mm -hmm. off. The crankshaft pulley, you can't repair. Uh, water pump, you can repair. So, go figure. Uh, fuel filter, you can't repair, so that's going to be an item that gets replaced. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all the parts off here. And everything that I can repair, I'm going to repair. Everything that can't be repaired, I either have to replace and repair or replace. It's like the sprock that cam gear. Nope, you're not gonna get it. Okay, so exhaust manifold we already know is gonna be a replacement item, not a repair. Same goes for the spark plugs. Stripping this head down. Oh my gosh, rocker arms are the same. I, I can't believe I'm ripping this thing down to parade rest. Usually when I get these vehicles, they're not in that bad of shape. But all the rocker arms and the rods will have to be replaced. So those are those are the items I'm going to have to buy. And with these, I'm probably just going to trash them. I'm not going to keep them around for another, another vehicle, I don't think. I think I have plenty of rockers and rods in the in the storeroom. Honestly, I mean, I think I have a ton of them. I may throw a few in there just for giggles. All right, so let's rip that out. A lot of rusty bolts on this thing. Okay, so that side's done. Go ahead and kind of take that little pan off of it. So we get at the bottom end of it eventually. Well, see, that valve cover is in good shape. I wish the other one was. I think the other one was like 14%, so I'm going to have to find a new valve cover for that. Hopefully, I have one in the storeroom. And that's what this is all about, is being able to find the parts to repair them and not just purchase them out of the catalog. Things like belts, yeah, you're going to have to. I mean, I guess you could find a good belt out there from the junkyard. Like 87%, but hey, it really downgrades the whole vehicle to creating a classic out of it. And that's what it is with the classic creation, is the building it back to its stock version. Um, not doing anything crazy with it. You know, no no crazy wheels, tires, Suspension, no, you know, modifications to the engine. This is n nothing more than building it back to its stock configuration so that it can be sold. Now, this one being the color that it is, I may keep this one. I'm not a big Ford fan, no. But Broncos, I just, they, I really have a fond liking for Broncos. I don't know why, I couldn't tell you. Um, I've never owned one myself. Um, but yeah, I just uh, I just have a fond liking of these things. They're they're very cool. The Blazers were the same way. All right, so hopefully underneath here, um, 
But these rod caps are actually repairable, which is interesting enough that I wouldn't think they would be repairable, but they are. That's okay. All right, so lately I've been getting into the whole my garage game. I can't tell you, I can't tell you why I'm so like enamored over that game. I just like playing it. I don't know what it is. Definitely not a driving game for no. Um, definitely not a driving game. It's kind of really tough to drive around in that game, but just kind of fun. It it's kind of takes a, a car mechanic simulator aspect to a whole different level. I mean, it doesn't highlight the parts that you need, so you have to remember. You have to know. Like, you have to remember to put a head gasket on. That's almost like real life, right? If you didn't know you had to have a head gasket in there, would you have put a head gasket in? I don't know. Would you have? I wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have. I'd been a big dork. All right, let's repair these parts. Let's hope for the best on these parts that I can get as many parts repaired as possible and not too many failures. Um, so let me try to concentrate on making sure I can... It's like a distributor cap. Why is that repairable? The bug. Why is that repairable? I don't know. That one bounced out on me. I almost... Uh... Oh, the headers are repairable. Ha <laughs> ha. I did not think they were. Ooh. Oh, man. I got lucky on that one. All right, yeah. Yeah, I just... I am, like, being real careful trying to pick my battles here and trying to pick up... Oh, my God. That was close. Trying to make sure I repair everything I possibly can out of this engine. Because that's what it is. It's a classic creation, right? You want to be able to take the parts that, you, that came with it and repair them and put them back into place. You don't want to put any aftermarket parts in there. No way. You want it back to original. And that's what this is all about. As much as possible. Okay, 100%. Done. Oh my god, I could not believe that I had gotten that. Uh, all right. Um, there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Um, let's. Okay, I, I guess this, this is what we'll have to do, probably, is take a look here. Let's uh, sort by name. Um, what do we need here? Cam gear. Yeah, that's going to have to be replaced. Pressure plate. Bearing. Yeah. That's going to have to be replaced. I need to find a head. A head cover. Because those are repairable. Right? Uh, flywheel is not repairable. So I need to know that. Uh, filter. Um, distributor I need. Um, rings and... Pistons I'm going to need. Rocker arms. Ooh, I need a rod cap. Uh, I need a filter. I need one of those as well. Uh, spark plugs are not repairable, so those are going to have to be. Chain is not repairable. Push rods are not repairable. Uh, water pump pulley is not repairable. So this, these are the stuff. This is the stuff I'm going to get, right? So, um, let's see. Camp gear. We gotta get that. Uh, clutch pressure plate. Yep. Clutch release bearing. Yep. Crankshaft pulley. Right. Flywheel check. Fuel filter check. Distributor. Oh, I've got to go into the other piston rings. I need eight of you, bad boys. Uh, piston with Conrod. Eight of you, bad boys. Rocker arm, 16 of you. Let me get the button right. Uh, filter. 
Serpentine belt. Serpentine belt. Spark what oh it's spark plugs and hamming chain. Yep. Water pump fully. Check. Push rods, there we go. Thought I saw it in there. I didn't for some reason. Alright, so there we go. We have most of that stuff done. Um let's go ahead and mount up the block. Go ahead and put the crankshaft in. Now I have all the pistons, except for one Conrad cap. Put that in, right? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So let's go ahead and add these in. Nice and clean. That's done. This is coming along right nicely. Yep, I'm running out of a, a rod cap, so I'm going to have to get one. Hope I have one in the storeroom over there. I think I do. So yeah, all I have is that one and it's a bad one so let's go to the let's hit the storeroom real quick uh, i'll go in here engines and exhaust i need a couple of b clips so might as well grab those um come on baby need a rod cap from you or two there we go ah uh, all right, so we are going to repair clips because I'm going to need them for the distributor because I noticed I didn't have any. Uh, and then one rod cap. Yeah, there we go. All right. Ooh, don't you just love it when a plan comes together? Yes, sir. All right, flywheel. This all bolted up, and it will rotate this engine around so I can have a better view of it. There we go. Alternator got repaired. A lot of these pieces got repaired, so I'm very happy about that. I'm, like, ecstatic, to be honest with you. Oh, wrong way. There we go. All right, so... Oh, we didn't have a coil, which I don't know if those are... I don't know if the recoil is repairable or not. Interesting. May have to figure that one out. I don't think I have one available. I may have to look around and see if I can get one. Okay, so crankshaft pulley, water pump, belt, and belt, the distributor. Oh, I need a new distributor. Did I not? Oh, I did not get a distributor because, hey, that's right. It was in the electronics section. I didn't go there. Electronics. Okay, here we go. A distributor. There we go. Um, spark plugs. We need eight, please. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. All right. Uh, so the distributor. I'm surprised the rotor was repairable, right? It just it just doesn't make any sense to me that the rotor and the distributor cap itself was repairable. Um, just kind of crazy, but okay. So that's done. Yep, B, e, that's done. Fan done. Okay. I need a, a head. I need an engine head. So we're going to have to going to have to kind of stop it at this point. Exhaust manifold on. I only have one, so yeah, I'm going to need another. Okay. 
So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is hold off right there. Let me take this and dump all these pieces into a inventory. Uh, warehouse one. Um, uh, change the name. I'm going to call this the Bronco. So open that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to dump everything in there. I need uh, transmission rockers. Oops, got a little crazy with that. Rudder, push rods. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. So, and then the rest of this stuff, I'm going to put in engines and exhaust. Engines and exhaust. I'm gonna anything in red. I'm not even bothering. Oh man, that should have gone to electronics. I am not paying attention. Okay. Engines and exhaust. Let's go into electronics. And we're going to distributor. Ah, didn't even want that. Okay, let's dump these things out. Let's sell these off. Done. All right. All right, I need to do a little housekeeping here because I am screwing up right and left. No lie. Um, anything that's red in here, I need to get Done. Okay. So. Done. Okay. And I had something in the engines. Uh, engines and exhaust. It was the spark plugs, wasn't it? It was the spark plugs I put in here and I shouldn't have. Uh... Well, I got a bunch of spark plugs in here. So I'm just saying it probably wasn't a bad thing. Starter. That needs to go out of here. Okay, so we'll put all that stuff in the electronics. There we go. Now I think we're we're cooking with gas now, baby. We're cooking with gas now. Alright. Alright. So we've got an engine we need an engine block uh, engine head for. I probably have one. I just haven't looked, so we'll take a look at that later. Um, and then we'll get this thing built up the rest of the way. It is coming together slowly but surely, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait to show you our parking spots. I actually really need to... I really need some more cars out here, so maybe I need to start saving some of these things. Oh my gosh, so I'll have to figure that out. I may save the Bronco. Alright, guys. Thanks for hanging with me. I really appreciate it. We are putting this thing together slowly but surely, and it is a classic. So, you know, we have to put together as nice as possible maybe the next time we will focus our our uh efforts on our mustang so we can get it out on the track and see how it does all right until the next time this is quasar saying thank you all and i will talk to you later good night and i am out